Aloha everyone, this is Hawaii Spikaleli. Today I'm going to show you how to make garam masala, which is an Indian spice that they use in their curries. And I tried to find it in the stores, even the bulk stores. The bulk stores said they used to sell it, but they don't carry it anymore. So I tried two different bulk stores. None of them carry it. And I wanted the whole spice itself because it, when you grind the whole spice, it has a better flavor. I have to toast all these spices before I grind them. I have here a tablespoon of cardamom seeds, a tablespoon of whole cloves, and half a tablespoon of peppercorns, black peppercorns, two bay leaves, half a stick of cinnamon or a small stick of cinnamon, which I kind of broke up one star anise, and half of a whole nutmeg. So now I'm gonna put this all in the frying pan and toast it on low heat just until the smell comes out. Because if you just grind it like that, it's not a good flavor. So just put it all in the frying pan. And then toast it until you have the aroma. And when I did find a bottle of garam masala, a small bottle, the, the, your typical spice jar was about $8. So I wasn't willing to pay this. I can begin to smell it now. But I don't want it to burn, so not on high heat. Oh, maybe about five minutes or so. It's toasted. Now I'm gonna put it back on the plate. Now I have here one quarter cup of coriander seeds. And this is really the uh, coriander or the Chinese parsley. These are the seeds. So toast this too. And they'll probably start to pop up like popcorn. Put this in the plate. And I have here two tablespoons of cumin seeds. Stir that up. And half a tablespoon of fennel seeds. Just toast these a little bit. Now I'm gonna put all the spices in the coffee grinder, little by little, till it's ground up. And you'll be surprised how fast this mixes up. This is the finished product. You see, it ground up everything without any problem. And mm, it smells very good. This saves me a lot of money. What you can use this for is the Indian curries. A lot of the recipes call for garam masala. So if you can't find it, now you can make your own. But you might have a little trouble finding the whole seeds. So if you like this video, don't forget to smash that like button. And mahalo for watching. See you on the next video.